Welcome to yet another video of Robotech Tips. Today we are going to install Rose 2 in an Ubuntu 20 system. Before going to that, we need to know why we are going from Rose 1 to Rose 2. So, in Rose 1, there is a single central Rose Master that keeps track of all the robots and their parts. This can sometimes become a single point of failure causing communication issues if the master goes down. But in ROS2, it allows multiple masters to exist, so it will reduce the risk of a single point of failure and making the system more robust. Also, ROS2 uses a better communication system that is faster and more reliable. So, let's start with the installation of ROS2 in an Ubuntu 20 system. Today, I will be installing Galactic version of ROS2, so you should have an Ubuntu 20 system to follow the steps in this video. If you don't have, go to the website of Ubuntu and download Ubuntu 20.04. If you are using Windows, download Rufus tool to write this Ubuntu image to a pen drive. If you are using Ubuntu itself, you can use Disk Image Writer in your machine to write this image to the pen drive. Later, you can use this pen drive to flash your system to Ubuntu 20. So, let's start with the installation of ROS2. Go to this link and scroll down and open the link installation. Next, open the link Debian packages. Once the tab is open, copy the commands one by one. Take a terminal and paste these commands to install ROS2 in your system. Take a terminal, copy the command, paste it in terminal, press enter. Copy the next command, paste in the terminal, press enter, give your password. Copy all the commands one by one and press enter. Next you need to add ROS2 repository to your system. For that, copy all the commands under setup sources, paste in terminal and press enter one by one. Next you need to install ROS2 packages to your system using the commands given in the reference link. Copy each one and then paste in terminal. Once update and upgrade is done, you can copy the command to install Rose Galactic Desktop. It will take some time to complete the installation of Rose Galactic Desktop. Wait for some time. Have a coffee and come back. You also need a good network connection for this. Copy the next command to install raw space which includes communication libraries, message packages, command lines etc. Once installation is done, it's a time to set up your system with rows 2 libraries. Copy the commands for sourcing, source, opros, galactic setup.bash you can do this in a single terminal also so if you want to use the roster commands in all terminals we need to add this in dot bash rc for that gedit dot bash rc type this in a terminal and press enter the text editor will open with a file dot bash rc at the end you can paste the source command if you have ROS1 commands, ROS1 source commands in your dot bash RC, you can comment them. Save the change and close the text editor, close the terminal, take another terminal to see the change. Otherwise, it will not get reflected in the same terminal. So, your ROS Galactic Library is sourced in all terminals now. So, next is the moment of truth. We are testing a publisher and subscriber. Copy this command. Take a new terminal. Paste the command in the terminal. So a topic will get published now. 
you can see it in log so take another terminal copy the command to subscribe so we are launching a node to subscribe so the topic is getting subscribed here see you back with part 2 video of rose 2 tutorial series thank you